Okay, I've tried to record this like a, a billion times. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna let this go. Let me just do the fucking knife kill. I got, I almost got a knife kill before when I was doing this as a demonstration. And then I started talking and got super greedy and then I didn't get it. Okay, so I wanted to just show that whole thing just because if you want to show the minigun part, you kind of just have to let the guess like the credits play, so that's silly. So let me just start this over again. So let me just break down what I'm doing here. That was pretty much an ideal knife kill fight, and again, I'm stuck on my um, thing here. What's happening? It reset my settings. That's great. So now I have tab shift. Which is whatever. So switch to the minigun. Um, I think I didn't go over how if you reload from auto save, you don't get, you don't auto equip the minigun, but in the middle of a run you do. So I just wanted to point that out. You might have to press one in practice, but make just realize that you don't have to equip the knife or the um, minigun um, before the fight if you're in the middle of a run. So just wanted to let you know. The game automatically puts you on minigun which I guess is a good quality of life thing. So then here's what you do. Walk three steps backward then you want to aim right here. Aim for the first two rows and then aim for the bottom row of his eyes while he's going down. Stand still. Go forward, knife a couple times. It's about six or seven slashes. You'll you'll get the feel of it when you just react to the sound. You go for two slashes here. Go for about three slashes here. This is not gonna be a knife kill, but now I get to show this off. So if you just go hold right, this was pretty good fight anyway. If you get a knife kill, you usually have to go farther back before he gets before his eyes show up. So let me just go over this again, because there's a there's a nice backup for G4, which can save you a bit of time. Well, it can prevent you from getting charged. Ideally, if you're doing a one nade fight, you if you can kill him before he charges, I would say that's fine. That's fine. But if you miss the nade throw, or like, you get all these other things, then I would say you'd have to work on the practice of it, because it's all about just rhythm. Because I'm of the mindset that this fight, knife kills should happen every time, but if you're not doing optimal damage, then they don't happen. That's essentially what that means. So if you don't get a knife kill, it just means you aren't doing optimal damage, but you can still do fast as fuck fights. But it's just all about, sometimes G4 just, it just feels like a dream. He falls right into every sh shot. You you do damage on every knife, knife slash, or every bullet fired. I, I think I should also show the world record version. I do my own, which works just as fine. But it's up to you. The, the benefits of mine is that you get to switch to the nade a bit faster if you don't do a knife slash right before he's about to go to the wall so it can be a bit tricky where you switch from minigun and then you have to go into the sub weapon menu and then switch to nade and it can take way too long and you don't have that time to throw the nade so sometimes because you don't want to delay it but the downside of my fight is you have to manage uh, knife durability whereas in world record one you don't have to manage that but let me just show world record one. It's the same thing. One, two, three steps back. 
First, first two rows, then bottom two rows. Wait. The Shrestha usually just do like one slash there, but that's fine. I think it's supposed to do a slash before it gets there, but that's fine too. Two slashes here, go to the front. One, two, three. Wait. Slash. It's a very particular rhythm. I would learn this fight with music and with sound effects clearly audible. Otherwise, it's very hard. Because I'm using a combination of like audio cues and just like other things. Like just getting the sense of where the fight is going. And this fight is actually subtly like reactive. So right there I've tried to go in from 1-3-2, which could work. Show this, minigun. Could do either. That makes it easier if you do the knife slash right there. Now go over when he goes on his back and adjust a bit. That was a bit of a late slash. It's all about timings here. All the timings I'm doing you should just try to mimic. It's really hard to explain them, but it's like right before he's right as he's turning, so he goes like so the knife the last knife slash he goes from he goes from like here to here. So you kind of just want to sit like this. He goes here, and then he then as he's about to go this way, keep in mind you're standing straight this whole time. I'm just doing this as a demonstration of his motion. So he goes like so, right as he's about to swing the other way, you go like, bam. And the knife has a bit of a delay. So, like, I tap quick here. So, there's a, so sometimes there's a chance that you get a bit of a meme where you don't do full damage or something. Or you get, like, none of the eyes. But if you follow the... If you only go for that amount of slashes each time, then you should be okay. And I'll explain what I mean. Again, I'm just going to keep demonstrating and just sh introducing little things as I go. So, three, three steps back. First two rows. Last two. I mean, last row. Going back and forth. Aim him while he while he's on the ground. This isn't going to be a knife kill because I missed too many eyes here, but... Here's how I can tell. Okay, so you okay? So obviously you go to his side here, so he goes up, the, so he faces towards the train. Because if you go, if you go to him in a different side, like you can go to him this side, but if you're too far away, like if you chill over, like farther, like you see, like let's just say you're close to this wall or close to those, like whatever, right? Like if you're not at this side where it's in between his arm and his leg, he will get up towards the wall, and that sucks. It's terrible. You miss out on a lot of damage. It's really bad. You miss out on about three knife slashes worth. It's really rough. And it's just... It can prevent you from, like, do, dealing enough damage that you have to do to get this knife kill. So, as the eyes respawn here, you can pretty much... This is the spot where you can definitively gauge how the fight's going to go for you. If you see yellow eyes here, it means there's very low to no chance of knife kill. If you get, like, orange eyes here... Do you have a you have a decent chance? If you get red eyes right away as they spawn in, that means you have a 100% chance if you managed your knife durability properly, or if you're doing the ray strat with the mini gun instead of the knifing when it goes to the wall, then you don't have to worry about the knife durability. But anyway, this is how you gauge the fight. If you get yellow eyes here, it means you're going to have to go for the backup. If you get orange eyes, then you go for the regular version. If you're going for... If you get red eyes, you can greet it if you have enough knife durability. Sometimes you can choke the whole knife kill. But if you're on a PB pace run, don't even go for the super fast one. Just get it if you can. Like, with me, I've greeted it before and fucked it up. It's really bad. If you have a knife break and he doesn't get knife killed on a red eyes when he's on the back, then that means you really messed up. So if he gets red eyes here... After, like, even, like, after one or two slashes here, that's, I would say that's pretty ideal. But yellow eyes here is really bad. So let's see what eyes we get. So we got red eyes after a slash, which is pretty okay. We might get a knife kill here. Three slashes. 
Nope. Really close. This is gonna be close. A couple eyes. Like that. You saw I broke one eye there. I'll just keep showing this off. This is how you gauge how the fight goes. And you can also... There's another indicator of how the fight goes. What the audio cue here. I'll just show it off and then I'll describe what I was about to describe there, which is why I messed up the movement. Because I want to describe how the minigun works. But if you hear her say, why won't you just die? About here? That means you're doing the right damage. Let me show you what happens if you don't do the right damage. You don't hear that or you hear a delayed version. If you hear a delayed version that deviates from that timing you just heard of the sound. At this point in the music and whatever. It means you're, you're not doing enough damage or missing. Like, let me just show you. You see how it's delayed? It's supposed to be happening now. You see how that- that was drastically delayed. So, if you miss damage and you hear a delay, you mean you're not doing enough damage. So, you have to be very cognizant of that because it's very easy to subtly just like... This is the moment when I wish I had editing software. Anyway, let me just show um, how it's supposed to sound once again. First two rows and then you go for this one. You try to just aim for the eyes as he falls down. If you see how I got hit there? That's This is also something important too. If you get hit while he lands and, and if you're holding forward, if I got really greedy, I was like the perfect distance away but I tap forward a bit too early you wanna if you wanna be safe you tap forward right as he lands Wait, no no like when he's already landed you tap forward if you tap forward as he's about to land you can get what I get there but this doesn't matter because if you get yellow eyes here it means he will always go to the wall but if you get white eyes here and you get staggered like I did this can be the end of the fight and lose you like five seconds. But it doesn't matter here because he's got yellow eyes. But it's kind of major because I missed out on two knife slashes. So we'll see. See look, yellow eyes as I said. This is really hard to get a knife kill on. So I'm going to go for four slashes here instead. That's a, that's a backup of mine. Which might work. Then you aim for the left, the right here. So that was actually a decent backup. Because if... I'd say the fight's pretty decent if you can kill him before he turns around to you to charge. Otherwise, I'd say it's bad. If you can't kill him before he charges at you, it's really, really scary. And it just means you gotta practice the rhythm. But let me show you a quirk with a minigun. Most people don't know this, so this is a this might be a bit of a surprise to some people. Watch what I do. I'm holding the I'm I'm not moving the mouse at all when I do this. So watch. You're noticing something here. The minigun automatically goes up as you shoot. So when you're doing G4, you gotta be like... Making sure to manage the minigun not going up. Like you see me here, I'm trying to keep it centered here. Because if you, if, you, if you just hold it in the same spot for too long, you go upward and you miss shots. So the precision with the minigun is actually kind of tricky. If you think about it, so... If you find yourself not hitting eyes you should be, it might, maybe, it might mean that you're not centering properly. You're not doing the circular motion when you're aiming. This is something to be cognizant of, because I'm pretty sure most people don't know about that. Maybe me and, like, a couple other people know that. Or maybe, you know, all the top players know that. I'm not sure, but regardless, it's something you got to look out for if you want precision with the minigun, especially if you're doing the, the minigun, like, ray version. Because it's just... This fight is the epitome of optimal damage. Like, you don't do optimal damage, you won't get a good fight. You can lose the run, you can get in danger, you can die. This fight is a heartbreaking run-ender if you get here on a great pace. And also the G4 softlock is a major thing too, but I would say just wait. Count two seconds for each um, cutscene before you cancel them. So this cutscene I don't think really matters, but the first cutscene, I'd wait at least two seconds... You know, escape space, and then try to take your time with the escape space. It could be a problem. We just still don't know how the G4 softlock works after you kill him. But you, you need end screens for timing this game on speedrun.com. But anyway, 
Let me just demonstrate the fight again. With all the things we've learned. Three. You see how I'm doing circular motion to try to stay centered here. I usually do back and forth. I don't usually do circular. I used to do circular. So I'm going to just walk backwards. This should be a good fight. You might have red eyes right away. He does. This is going to be good. I went for an early slash there because there's a lot of back... There's a lot of greedy kind of earlier knife kills you can go for. The rotation one... When you get the timing of it and all the audio cues, you can get it. If So if you saw me right there, there's very minor decisions you can make all the time. Like, just like that. Just Like, if you know where you're at in the fight, because I saw red eyes after one slash, which is, and it's complete red eyes. It's not like what I call, what is it, like speckled eyes, where, or like multicolored eyes, where it's kind of just like, oh, half, half yellow, couple orange, like red almost like that's kind of like just stick with your guns and do it regular but with like if you get like red eyes like that you might want to get a bit greedy but it depends on your knife durability once again doing race strat doesn't matter so just do it again i'm missing eyes there which is bad but should be okay and also try to learn this positioning here Because you want to kind of do knife slashes if you want to manage knife durability properly. You want to stay at a distance where you're not doing body damage because it just eats away at the knife. That was perfect. It didn't do completely optimal damage, but I did enough. I You can also do faster versions, but it's so hard to show them in a video that I'd, I, it's just like I'd be grinding here for minutes on end to try to demonstrate it. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. I think this might have been too long, but I just wanted to just share all that information right there. But I feel bad that I can't really describe it beyond, like, just learn the audio cues. But it's really true. Like, you just have to get the feel of the fight and just know your timings. Like, it's really hard to say. It's a consistent rhythm. So if you got that sense of the rhythm in the fight, you can probably do a good G4. But you just... You have to do it... Like... You gotta get the minigun. You have to listen to when Claire says... Why don't you just die? If she says it at the same time every time. It means you're doing it right. If you hear it way too late. It's usually right as he's rearing to jump. Is when you hear that sound, by the way. That's the proper timing. Yeah, I hope this was good. I'm just gonna upload this and post it, I think. This'll be fine.